Hello and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host Brian. I found out that the Hurdy Gurdy player from Iluvite went off and made their own bands and that their debut album is coming out this year or did come out this year. I'm actually, I think it did come out this year, now that I remember correctly. Because uh, it was when I asked people what their favorite debut releases were of this year. Bands that put out their first album in 2023. And this was one of the bands that came up in that conversation. So we're going to get into this. The band is called Liar. L-Y-R-R-E. The track we're looking at today is Divide and Conquer. Let's see what they're bringing to the table. Very atmospheric to kick this off. The hurry gurdy is really difficult to hear in a lot of these sections if it's even present. I do like some of these heavier sections still having an acoustic guitar though. Yeah, I hear the Gertie primarily on the right side in the upper upper range. But I really have to listen for it. See here it's exceptionally present against the guitars, but sometimes the guitars take the they take the lead. We got the strings on the outside too, on the other side, over here. Yeah, I mean, that's a solid track overall. Has a nice atmosphere in the opening, really nice way of uh, bringing the listener in, presenting the foundational elements, slowly stacking ideas until we hit the big bombastic section and move into the typical verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus structure. Um... I do like in the final chorus, we had a small variation there with the guitarist coming in and playing a little bit of a lead melody line over everything. That was awesome. Um, I dig the acoustic guitar showing up in here in quite a few places, particularly the opening, the verses, uh, even though there might be the electric guitars providing these uh, rhythmic punches every couple of bars. 
Uh, the drums being a bit on the heavier side, the acoustic guitar is still there and adds quite a bit of atmosphere to some of these sections that is showcased in the, uh, sorry, not showcased, expanded upon in the bridge with the Hurdy Gurdy solo. And so while this isn't, I don't know that I would call this folk metal, there is a folk aspect still in it. And I think that's pretty awesome, uh, primarily led by the guitar and the hurdy-gurdy. They continue to keep the sonic representation of a folkier side of metal without really uh, moving within the realms of compositional side of the folky aspect of folk metal. And it gives the song a... a specific unique characteristic to it that while it is pretty much a straightforward metal track right here it still sounds quite a bit different from its contemporaries just with those different voicings the timbres in this track that we typically don't hear in other songs the guitar work was good throughout most of this the the drums were good the vocal line was catching in the chorus um and i enjoyed the uh the gertie solo in the the bridge i thought all that was really well done the melodies are well crafted the atmosphere is palpable in places but i do feel like it's just a hair bit too simple for me and I think a lot of it isn't necessarily that it's a simple track because I like simple music I don't mind less layers or less complexity and usually I wouldn't necessarily bring this up but to me there is a missed opportunity here and it's very possible this is just not the direction they want to go in but I feel like the hurdy-gurdy, especially being presented as the key instrument here, one, from external sources, this is the hurdy-gurdy's band, the hurdy-gurdy player's band. She used to be in Illuvite, now she's doing her solo project, right? Um, so I don't know the other guitarists, I don't know the other drummers, but I know her. The hurdy-gurdy also stands out as the differentiating aspect. Not many other straightforward metal bands have a hurdy-gurdy player. So, like, there's so many moments here that sort of put a lot of focus on it. And maybe that's the point of this track, is to sort of subvert those expectations. You might be coming here hoping for gurdy metal, and we don't want to make that. We just want to make good metal music, and I just happen to play the hurdy-gurdy. That might be the perspective the band approached this track with, but I do feel that the hurdy-gurdy just is heavily underutilized we get a nice melody in our intro but it leads into a chorus which doesn't utilize it and sorry a verse that doesn't utilize it in a chorus which it's very hard to hear so it ends up being that i heard it in the intro and the bridge and that's kind of the only places it's prominent um in fact there is even a part of me that feels that the acoustic guitar is more influential in the sonic identity of this band than the hurdy-gurdy is, and that feels interesting because no one was playing the acoustic guitar in the video. Um, and it's just a, a lot of these little things are coming together that uh, kind of hindered my enjoyment of the song. But it, again, it, it's not a bad song by any means. I think it's perfectly fine. It gets the job done. It's a good introduction to the sound that they want to create. And I'm sure if you pick up the album, it's going to sound a lot like this. Uh, if you enjoyed this, you'll probably dig that. But as far as my tastes in music, I think I just had the wrong expectations set up because of all of the circumstances that surround the creation of this band and who's in it. I was really hoping for a little bit more hurdy-gurdy and maybe even some different kinds of writing. The guitars were primarily used for punchy accents in the verse and 
chords in the uh, the chorus, and I would have loved to hear some counterpoint, given that they seem to have three melody melodious instruments here, plus the vocals on top of it. There's a lot of room for counterpoint, and instead they went for uh, you know simple metal. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just I had different expectations than what they wanted to create, and so you know as usual. A second listen I think would be beneficial as I know what I'm in store for, I know what they're presenting, uh, and I can appreciate it on that level a lot better than with the way that I came in, kind of expecting something similar but a little different. I'm going to hit some lyrics and then we're going to wrap this up. There are a sparse amount of lyrics in here, only 12 unique lines. The chorus, which is stated three times, says, The king's dead, long live the king, just making sure your eyes are not open. That would ruin our game, and we just love to play divide and conquer. The idea that there is someone new in control, and I hope you're blind to this uh, shifting of power, because it makes it easier to conquer an area through the division I can create. But if you notice that I'm the one pulling all these strings, it's going to ruin everything for me. That's the vibe going on there. The second verse says, Sing me a song, my little bird. I give you all the proper words. Your voice belongs to me and I demand obedience. Sing me a song from behind the golden bars. So, there's a beautiful bird. And, well, metaphorically. So this would be a, a person or something. Uh, refers to them as a little bird with sapphire feathers. So a beautiful thing. I give you all the words. I tell you what to sing, and your voice belongs to me. And I keep you caged up in a in gold behind golden bars. So far, this could relate to a lot of things. There's a lot. There's there's so many ways that this can work together, just due to how vague everything is. I think things begin to come together a little bit in our first verse. This is really key here. It says, How would it feel to walk through ruin, ruins of your conscience? Embers illuminate the mind. There's nothing left. You're free. Just let me gently guide you through your freedom. No need to think about it. I'm here to care about it. And it makes me wonder, specifically talking about consciousness and minds if this isn't a new entity within the mind this is a way for another side of a person to take control unfortunately it also is a bit on the vague side and these could just be the words of any sort of charismatic uh, ruler saying hey just give me the reins of everything let me take control. It's a burden off your back. Honestly, it's going to be a lot of work for me. When really, you know, they want the power. They have things in mind they want to do, and it's not going to be great. As we see in the second verse, the person they take this power from ends up behind bars. So uh, it's all done in a very vague way that it could relate to a lot. It could be very straightforward red, too. This could be about a usurping of power from one person to a, a very negative type of ruler. Maybe someone who wants to be a dictator, possibly, uh, and have complete rule over everything. Or it could be metaphorical about any number of things that would line up with similar ideas of losing control over a situation and ending up being um, enslaved and caged from that loss of power. So, I mean, it's... It's all, it's, it's, it's fine. That's, I guess that's sort of my thoughts on all of this. It's all very competently done. I don't really have anything negative to say about most of it. It's just, it's competent. It's, it's fine. It's, it's all good. I mean, this is a solid six out of 10 kind of song where I don't really have any complaints about the song itself it just isn't doing anything different it's not changing up the game in any way even through an iterative process the biggest difference is sort of that folk influence they have with the classical guitar and hurdy-gurdy 
and I feel like that was a bit underplayed. So those are my thoughts on Liars Divide and Conquer. Let me know what you thought of this one down in the comment section. Give me your opinions, comments, thoughts, perspectives. If you enjoyed it, all of that, let me know. Above that in the description box, you'll find a link to Linktree. In there you'll find this menu. You can find my music, ways to support the channel, a link to the Discord server, and so much more. Above that, if you could, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I greatly appreciate all three of those. All right, that wraps it up for today. We'll be back tomorrow, though, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. UTC, as usual. Until next time, remember to be critical, not cynical. And have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you choose to watch my videos. Thank you.